So let's just um, explore explore the FFT with with the help of Python. So let's just do it um, in a very simple way first, just to get a feel for the for the disc, uh, for the Fourier transform or, or discrete for um, discrete Fourier transform. So let's create an array, and so something like seven minus nine six, and then let's say minus minus two, and um, let's say ten. It's the last one. Really doesn't matter. So we've got five samples. And um, so what? So what do we expect from um, from the Fourier transform here? So if you're, if you're doing a Fourier transform of the sequence, so important is this sequence is real valued. So what most of the sequences are when you're measuring something, it will be always just real numbers. And so so this means because it's real valued, then the then the resulting Fourier transform. Or Fourier spectrum is complex conjugate. And so that's, and that's a very important feature. And so therefore we need to make sure when we're working with um, real sequences that it actually also stays always complex conjugate. So let's have a look if this works in Python and um, have a play a bit with the fast Fourier transform here. So for that we need to um, 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 numpy. So import numpy as np. And so then in numpy fft this actually a whole selection of um, different functions and then actually fft dot fft is the actual function which is doing the Fourier transform. So let's create a Create an array um, x and p, so numpy, and then array of what did we have here? Seven comma minus nine comma six comma minus two comma ten. Okay, so now we've got this array here, um, and, so, and and now we can do a Fourier transform. This, so, so let's call the Fourier spectrum of this is a Fourier transform x f. Um, and do do a um, numpy dot fft dot fft dot x. Okay, so here we go. So we here we've got the the um, result of our Fourier transform. So we see already. So the first value here is um, is actually just is um, again real valued here, and then we have here. That number is is complex con uh, is um, is a complex number. Then the middle is a complex number. That's a complex number, and it's also complex. That looks a bit messy just now. How um, Python prints this out? So I just, let's just do this um, just in one column for i in x f. So I'm just making a for loop, iterating through the different frequencies here, frequency samples, and just print this out. Print i. Okay, so here we here we've got the readings in a uh, in a bit more orderly fashion, and so and so now what do we expect? So we so we exp um, expecting complex conjugate spectrum here, and um, that's what we see here. So this number is a complex conjugate of that number, and then this number here is a complex conjugate of that number. Yeah, so let's just um, quickly write this here down so that I move this here a bit to the side and um, I take a take a new sheet so that we are able to to document this this properly yeah so so our array so our time series was seven minus nine six minus two 
and 10. Let's do the proper Python array bracket around this here. And, and then we've done a Fourier transform of this. So we've done um, our x, xf is then numpy fft dot fft of of x here. Okay, so so that one we um, we generated these these numbers here, and so we see now that um, xf of zero here is is twelve. So a real number. So so where does it does it come from? Um, and there, there you have to remember how the Fourier transform is calculated. So so if I so where's this where's this twelve coming from? So the twelve is um, essentially just the just the sum of all these elements here. Of all. samples in in x so do we believe that um so that's very simple to to check because python has a has a simple simple function for that so let's see so here we've got a 12 so how do we get get also um, out of this here so we just ask python to do the sum of x so we've got here the x here and and that's 12 yeah and so therefore that that works so if you look at the um, Fourier transform formula, it's very easy to see that this creates you the sum just of the of the elements. So the first one is just the sum basically of all samples. And so then, then we have here um, the other the other frequencies. So then, so then then we see we've got complex conjugate numbers. So sorry, not one zero. That's one. Yeah. So x x of one. That is. Um, the same, the same here as um, so that's x of one here, and then this this is here, the same as that one here. Yeah, so so that's here in this case here zero one two three four. Yeah, so that's so square brackets so stay in the Python notation. So it's x of four, and then we've got here the and I've forgotten the compl con conjugate, and that's um, then x of two. So x of two is that one here. So zero, one, two, and that's identical. Um, sorry, not identical. The complex conjugate of um, x of three. X f Yeah. So so there we see that. Um, so here we have um, the so-called so-called mirror. How we call this that um, the one is mirrored at four and then the two is mirrored at three and um, just the midpoint is is basically our axis where our axis where we're just mirroring these these samples so so it all works works well and um, so now we can move on and um, have a look at a proper signal and see what the Fourier transform does with that.